Let's look at a little colour picking example now in QGIS. I've got some household income data by county for the United States. If I double click the layer, change the symbology to graduated and change the value to the median household income value and then hit classify and apply, we get a default colour scheme. It's not very nice, it's not one I would use. So let's look at how to do things differently. If I click on the little drop down button and go to the bottom, I can create a new color ramp and that's what I'm going to do. And it's going to be a gradient. And here I'm going to pick colors from this web page that I've got up on the left. It's a US government website with some standard colors. So for color one, I'll click at the bottom in this little marker and then I'll click on sample color and I'll make that the light pink. On the right hand side, I'll click the little marker, I'll hit sample color, then I will choose the darkest red. Then I'll click in the middle below the color gradient, double click. And actually I'll click that marker again and I'll change that to 50%. So that's gonna be my middle color. In this case, I'll click sample color again and I'll just make this that red. So we've, we've chosen some colors and I'll put an intermediate stop in at 25%. Sample color here. And same here, 75%. I click below the gradient or double click, select the marker, change it to 75. Sample the color and there we go. So I've created a new gradient there using the colors in the Gov website as a guide. I'll click OK and then I'll click Apply. And one last thing I will do is I'll go to where it says Symbol, I'll click on the drop down at the end of the color patch, Configure Symbol, I'll click Simple Fill and here I will change the stroke width to 0 0.1 and the stroke color to white. And this is going to change the outline color and width for all counties. I'll click OK and Apply and OK again. So that's how you can create a new color scheme and if you want to save it you can double click at the end of the gradient and hit save color ramp and give it a name and if you want it to appear in your list of colors by default you can tick the add to favorites box.